What's up, YouTube? It's Scotty with Evil Castriegel, and uh, we are back out here at Indy Motorcycle of Clarksville, and I am taking another bike out. Uh, I don't know if I've ridden a Victory on this channel before, but uh, I do like them. Unfortunately, you know, they don't make them anymore, but we are taking out this beautiful uh, Havasu Red for my moto people, Lake Havasu. Uh, that's where all the Supercross dudes party back in the 90s. Kind of an obscure reference. Sorry about that. But anyway, uh, Havasu Red uh, Victory Cross Country. This is a 2016. Um, just caught my eye. I like red bikes. You know that I'm kind of a Honda guy, but uh, I don't know, I've been riding Yamaha here lately. If you've check, checked out any of my uh, Vintage Day stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to take out this Victory. I'll chat about it. Um, pretty excited. I like these bikes. I've ridden across country in the past. I'd like to have this in the garage, but I don't have the room. And I think Ashley would kill me if I brought another bike home. So yeah, I'm sure I'm going to love it. So um, it's got uh, some sweet pipes on it. Let's take a look at some glamour shots and then we'll get in the saddle of this thing and I'll just talk your head off about how much I, I like it. I'm sure I'm going to like it. Check you guys later. the victory we're out here cruising just enjoying the absolute sweltering summer heat of August here in southern Indiana whoo I mean it is so hot people I am actually sweating inside my helmet <laughs> just absolutely dripping but we're out on the cross country uh, I've already did a little bit of riding on it and uh, we're in a little, we're going to do our little short twisty section I normally do my demos on. Um, I absolutely, I just love this motorcycle, man. I mean, it is, it is beautiful. I, uh, you know, I'm usually not a victory guy. I'm going to say it uh, straight up. Usually not my bag, not my cup of tea, however you want to say it, whatever euphemism you want to use. Um, but I don't know if it's the red color. I don't know what it is about this bike in particular, this Havasu Red, um, but man, it is just, it's got me. It has got me. I, uh, I really dig it. Uh, it, it. I don't know, I don't know. You know, usually the lines on these Victory Cross Countries are, um, you know, it's, it's really angular. It's, it's, it's not like a standard, like kind of smoothed out like American V-Twin Cruiser you're used to seeing, you know. And uh, that's always kind of been off-putting to me, but for some reason with this red, it just works. It just looks really good. And, uh, you know, the other thing I've noticed after riding these, you know, I've ridden a few of these cross countries now, you know, they've got an inverted fork on them. Uh, they've got, I think they might have Brembo brakes. It's got really nice dual uh, brakes on the front here, but uh, they've definitely got a little sportier feel to them, I think. They corner really well, and they're almost kind of like, I say, a, uh, a proto-Indian challenger in a lot of ways, you know, just without the uh, without the uh, liquid-cooled engine. But they do have the inverted forks and everything. I mean, they almost look like the same fork that's on the challenger, if I'm being honest. Uh, very, very similar. Uh, but I'm really liking this bike so far. We're getting ready to get it up on the freeway here which obviously is where it lives you know that's where it's that's where it does its real work honestly though it does a lot of great work in the twisties just those little short corners back there i mean the bike feels great it leans in great you know you can definitely tell that um polaris is the the, the mother company to both victory uh may they rest in peace and india motorcycle now because they handle the handling characteristics of the two are very similar uh, the Victory is going to carry the weight super low, center of gravity, right? 
like the India motorcycles, so tip in on initial, like initial tip in in the corners is effortless feeling on these bikes. Uh, and you can tell that from the minute you pick it up off the kickstand. Uh, they just, they just want to stand up straight, um, no effort, and leaning them into the corner, you know, they just kind of glide into the corners where like on some other big, big uh, cruisers, you feel like you're dragging it with your shoulders, like you're having to drag it into the corners. Not on this bike, man. It wants to lay over. I, I'm always really impressed when I get on them. And uh, this victory in particular is no different in that regard. Um, gosh, it's busy today out here on the freeway, man. It's usually not this crazy. But uh, uh, it's, it's whew, boy, it's hot. Maybe it's this bike I'm on, man. It's this red, this, this red bike it's just popping. That sun is just gleaming off of this beautiful paint. It's keeping me all warm and toasty. <laughs> I don't know. It's really hot out, guys. I don't know if I've said that enough today. But uh, I, I got to say, man, I've been really impressed with this bike. I mean, for 22,000 miles on this thing right now, uh, just super impressed with uh, the overall uh, performance of it, man. And uh, the guy that traded this bike in in particular, he did put a ceramic coating on it uh, when he bought it. So the paint looks just as new as it did the day it left the showroom floor. I've got to say, I think that has sold me on ceramic coating. Uh, I mean, this bike is beautiful. And uh, I am just really impressed with how it's held up. You know, it doesn't feel like a bike that's got 22,000 miles on it. I mean, I feel like this thing could go a long ways. It's already got the bars on it like everybody wants to do. I mean, it's really a great bike. Uh, if you're ever looking for something like this, hey, check it out. JB right there. Give her a call at uh, Indiana Clarksville or CC Power Sports, whatever suits your fancy. And uh, she can definitely she can let you know we've got uh, new or used. You know, they, we got a pretty good selection of inventory there. So definitely check that out. But, man, I got to say, guys, uh, I like it. I like this bike. It feels amazing. It feels Oh, man, check out that hot rod right there. Sick, brother. Nice. Got another one here. Let him get a good look at that thing. Super nice, man. Super nice. So yeah, I'm out in the saddle of the victory. I'm just having a good time. We're liking it. We're. I gotta say, man, if I could add another bike to the stable, I would add this one. I like it. I like the red color. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying that. I never thought I would want to put a victory in, but you know, these bikes were great, man. And. You know, a lot of people might be worried about parts because this is a 2016 uh, and Victory went out of business in 2017, but they did pledge to uh, to make and produce and sell OEM parts for Victory motorcycles for 10 years after they closed. So you got until 2027 for that. Aftermarket obviously will be taken over after them and uh, probably already loads of aftermarket stuff out there right now for them, honestly. So I wouldn't be concerned about that. Uh, I wouldn't let that hold you back from buying one. They're great motorcycles. This thing's got a 106 cubic inch motor on it um, that performs great. It sounds really good. It's got a really nice Vance and Hines uh, exhaust system on it. So, uh, you know, and I like it. It's not too loud. I'm not a guy that's like all about like uh, the whole loud pipes save lives kind of thing. I don't think there's anything you can do to get people to pay attention to motorcycles more other than just, you know, further educating them i don't think loud pipes are going to do it if anything i think loud pipes probably piss people off more than anything and make them want to hit you <laughs> i don't know i'm not condoning that i think it's horrible uh, i hate seeing anybody get hit um uh, but i don't think that the loud pipes are necessarily going to save you i think they're just probably going to piss off your neighbors and piss off you know everybody that's out sipping their you know coffee on the patio or whatever i don't know these bikes this bike sounds great though uh these vance and hines are like they're not loud, but they're like throaty and uh, I don't know, meaty sounding. What can you say about V twin pipes to make to, to uh, explain how good they sound? Right? It's just they've just got they've, this bike's got a nice, clean rumble. Uh, so I'm really impressed with the Vance and Hines system on it, um, and this motor in particular with the way it sounds. You know, it, it, really nice bike. I'm really impressed, honestly. In fact, I'm going to cut in a little clip of this thing revving out right here. So yeah, 
we're rolling back in here. CC Power Sports Clarksville, Indian of Clarksville, right over there. That's where this bike is residing for a moment. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like and subscribe, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Check out that Royal Enfield there. I remember when we sold that bike. Cool. So anyway, thanks guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, I just I can't thank you guys enough. We're getting there uh, slowly but surely. You know, uh, we're getting a lot. We're getting some pretty good views on some videos. A lot of those people that tuned in for Vintage Days, I really appreciate you. I know this is something a little different. I'm technically not on a vintage bike, being as this is a 2016. But uh, yeah, I, I really can't, I just I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been liking and subscribing, and uh, let's keep it up. I want to get to that thousand mark. Uh, it's going to make me feel good. It's going to make me feel vindicated for for trying to do all this stuff. But, yeah. Uh, anyway. Just kind of wanted to ramble about the bike I was riding today. You know, I had the opportunity. I wanted to talk to you guys. It's beautiful. The sun's out. It's fucking hot. <laughs> but, but we had a great time. I love this bike. Ashley, come on. Can we take it home? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know we don't have room. But anyway, it's beautiful. I'm sure this bike won't be here long. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have some more uh, downhill mountain bike stuff. We're going back to Windrock again here uh, in the next couple days. Fingers crossed that my knee is okay. I may have uh, heard it at Vintage Days, dabbing uh, my foot in the corner. But, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to quit rambling. Are you still watching this? Dude, get out of here. Check you later.